Okay, so still Gami09. Um, we're here with Alex. Alex, tell us a bit about this fascinating game we can see behind us. Uh, so this is Morse. Uh, the basic premise is you are a World War I operator uh, of a Morse code machine. Uh, and you've been relaying messages for a good portion of the war and you're sick of it. So you go rogue and then start literally calling the shots yourself. Uh, so to play this game you have to know Morse code or at least attempt to learn it. Uh, so, and what you do is essentially, similar to battleships, you input coordinates and call down artillery strikes. Okay, so as far as the learning curve with Morse code goes, could anybody pick this game up or is the learning curve a little bit too steep for that? So, learning Morse code, you have... Uh, Morse code's constructed of dots and dashes, and certain letters are purely based on you know, single dots or single dashes. E, for example, is one dot, T is one dash. So you start with those core ones and then build your knowledge up from there. Um, the other thing is as well is I'm, I'm aware at the moment that the game has a lot of uh, kind of difficulty scaling to implement, uh, which I've started doing based on community feedback. And yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. Well, that's fantastic. So um, as far as the coordinates go, uh, as far as the great gameplay options go, um, what's the kind of scope within the game? Uh, as in, where can I where can I take it from here? Um, or what's in it at the moment, and then where do you want to take it? Okay, so um, as you can probably see from what's been happening in the background, you start with one row uh, of each battlefield. You have three different battlefields. You have land, air, and sea, and each intertwine into one another. Uh, your sea brings your troops, your air brings your recon, and then both of those feed into the battlefield. Um, what I want is to add more units. So for example, uh, units that behave differently on the battlefields. Um, and yeah, like from there, it'll be getting it on tablet because you might have noticed that you've got the buttons down in the, the, the bottom corner. Yep. This works as quite nicely as a, as a tablet game. I've already got it working. Uh, and then swipe to get between the different battlefields. Uh, right. And yeah, it, it, it feels pretty good so far. I also have a custom peripheral, which... Stand by. Oh, Jesus. Is actually broken for this event, unfortunately. Oh, check this out. But you actually, this was the peg that inspired the game. And then I also have a big red button, which you push to launch the uh, attacks. I was going to so, say, is it a Smirnoff red button? Yeah, it's, it, it probably is, but I, I figured I wouldn't mention that for the uh, <laughs> advertising. Yeah. <laughs> Other red buttons are available. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, that, this was oh, where it kind of came that. together. Oh, it's fantastic. So what's the board you're running off, is it? Uh, so it's a, it's a makey makey. Uh, it's a nice simple input. I use it for all the workshops that I, I, can, I, I do controller workshops. Uh, so yeah, I, I just use this as the, as the base uh, for that. And it's really, really simple input. Oh, smashing. So what's the idea? You could run this as an installation as much as a tablet game, really. Yes. Uh, I mean, the, the, the thing I would love to have set up for this is um, my partner, she does laser cutting. Uh, and all sorts of amazing kind of creations with that. And I would love to have her uh, produce some kind of crazy uh, tabletop uh, setup with like varnished wood and I don't know, just go, go, go to town with it. Some leather bound books and rich mahogany. Yeah, exactly. That's it. But have it, the thing I'd love to have would be uh, a cross table gameplay. So you'd have two Morse code setups and you know, the two sides duking it out. Which would be awesome. I, I, I don't know. It, so it's something similar to you know the table football, except with actual strategy involved. <laughs> you'd need tweed as well. Surely you'd need tweed. Indeed. Yeah. So, um, as far as availability goes, just give us a, some idea of where you're at with availability. Okay. So uh, at the moment, because of as I mentioned, the, the difficulty scaling is is still need a lot of tweak and then there's so much testing that needs to be implemented in it. Uh, so there is actually a build available online at the moment. Uh, you, you can access the game uh, if you go to itch.io, itch uh, you can play the game on there. Um, just, just search for Morse and you should be able to find it easy enough. Uh, yeah, it, it, if you just, it seems to be kind of spreading around a little bit at the moment, uh, but it's just a flash build available online, so just give it a go. Smashing, there we go, that's Morse.